What's going on guys, Jokeristic here, bringing you another episode of our Pokemon Mystery Dungeons playthrough. Uh, if you guys have missed any of this, make sure to check out that playlist in the description below. Um, without further ado, I guess so, let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, I don't remember exactly what we were doing. It's been probably about a week since the last time I've played. But uh, I do remember we're waiting for the chance to go fight Groudon. Oh wow, another earthquake. I think this might be it right here. I guess it settled down. There have been a lot of earthquakes lately. Oh, already awake, Jokeristic? There was another earthquake earlier, right? There have been so many, I can't get a decent night's sleep. Hey, Lombre. What's up? We need you in Town Square. Everyone's gathering there. Is there something wrong? I'm not really sure. Shiftry's calling everyone out. He's getting another rescue team to come. Jokeristic, let's go. Wow, look at all the Pokemon. Looks like they sent out a lot of rescue teams to help. I've seen some pretty famous leaders from faraway places. That shift tree, I wonder what he's planning to do with all these rescue teams. Can I get everyone's attention here? I, uh, it's not my style to get up in front of everyone like this and, sorry, this isn't the time for that. There's big trouble. Alakazam's team went underground, but they haven't returned. What? Is that true? Yes, unfortunately, Alakazam led his team underground to quell Groudon. And that's it. We haven't heard anything from them. To be honest, we have no idea what became of them. No idea? How is that even possible? This is Alakazam's team we're talking about. But they haven't come back. For real? That's right, and it sounds like Groudon is out of our lead. What? Is that... No, is that tough? This Pokemon named Groudon? Why don't you go underground and see for yourself? Huh? You've got to be kidding me. There's magma flowing everywhere underground. It'll burn you up. Wow. If I went anywhere like that. Quiet. Please be quiet. There's no denying that it is dangerous underground. There's, well, it's not a place where just anyone can go. That's why I asked so many rescue teams to gather today. I propose that a special team be formed by choosing the best of the best. Who will step forward? Who among us will be the heroes to take on the challenges underground? Hey Jokeristic, this is some chance. Let's go for it. Don't bother you guys. Wh what's with you? Why try to stop us? You guys have gotten a lot tough, that's for sure, but there's plenty of tougher Pokemon out there. Hmm. <sighs> Jeez. Will no one step forward? I'll go. Whoa. It's Blastoise. You mean Team Hydro's Roughneck Blastoise? Those water spots on his back can rocket water so fast that it punches through thick iron plates. It's rumored Groudon is a ground type. I am a water type, strong against ground types. My hydro pump will put Groudon down in one shot. I'll join the party too. Ooh, -hoo, it's Octillery. She's Team Constrict's leader. She knows the for the uh, persistent and clingy attacks. She ensures foes with her tentacles and then headbutts them. She's a nasty face in any battle to endure. Darlings, when I see through Pokemon, I want to tangle with them. Say, how about it for getting... Wow, I just butchered that so bad. Wow, Golem, it's the most brutal out of Team Rumble Rock. His body's rock hard. He's supposed to be able to withstand huge explosions without taking any damage. 
Jeez, wow, I cannot stop, guys. What is happening right now? I've literally not yawned one time before I started recording this. <laughs> if Groudon's awake and underground, that suits me fine. I will use Rock Throw to keep it buried underground. Oh, Blastoise, Artillery, and Golem. That sounded weird. No one could complain about this selection. We will have these rescuers head underground. Yeah, good choice. Your representatives make us proud. L let's go. Win it for us. Save Alakazam's team. See, they look pretty tough, huh? Let them handle things. Okay, I guess. Can't say anything, Jokeristic. I wish we could have gone too, but it's just too bad. We'll let Blastoise team take care of things on the ground. We'll keep giving it our best to rescue work. Uh, again, again. The title of this video will be The Yawns, and that's it. Let's see. We got a dojo ticket at... Wow. Great Canyon's got a gummy. Mount Steel has dojo tickets. We'll see who has more quests. And then we'll go there. Um, Mount Steel has two. Great Canyon has one. So it looks like we'll be doing Mount Steel. Um, I don't remember how my Pokemon tactics are set. Okay, everybody said to go the other way still. So we are good. There's a Collecolon shop on this floor. I'd, I'm definitely not going after it this time. I learned my lesson, but we will see what items are here. I don't want this gravel, I don't know why I stepped on it, I just want to see what this drink was. An ether, that's not for me. I learned my lesson from last time. Uh, he sent like four Collegalons after me like the second I walked off his mat and I was literally right next to the stairs. I was a sad boy. That actually just happened uh, pretty recently, probably a couple episodes back. You guys want to go watch it for yourself. Oh, of course, you're just sitting here because of hunger. I thought you were here for swimming. Oh, I could actually keep you on my team? That would have been interesting. But now we have Spike, so we're, we're good. We're good with Spike. So Trap Inch wouldn't really be much of a use to us, even though I do like Flygon. That would have just been another uh, water weakness, and we're already pretty hurting on water stuff. Like Squirtle's here to kind of absorb it, but that's only uh, gonna get us so far. We got a Reviver Seed. You know, that thing's gonna save us at some point. I started playing Pokemon Go again today. It's uh, been a while. I went out and bought one of those gotcha watches. And uh, learning how that thing works is pretty interesting. 
because uh, I thought I bought just like a little piece of chum. But actually I can, I can just adjust the settings and make it where it only hits Poke Stop or make it where like it only catches Pokemon. And I, at first I thought, cause like it, it prioritizes Pokemon first and then it goes to Poke Stops. So like if there's Pokemon in your area, it's definitely gonna try to catch them first. Uh, we're gonna get rid of Solar Beam here cause Solar Beam is bothering me so much. But uh, yeah, so like I'm, at, at work, they have a Poke Stop like up in the front. So I'm like, I'm gonna buy this and then every time I walk past this Poke Stop, uh, it's going to hit it and then I'll have balls for later when I'm, you know, outside of work. Was the, the thought process of it all. And then, uh, they, they just kept trying to catch Pokemon because there were so many Pokemon there that, like, it didn't even try hitting the Poke Stop. And then, uh, after I found out that I could just adjust the settings, like, this it's gonna be so much, uh, so much easier for me now. And then with the auto catch, like, I'm, I'm really hoping, like, to catch a uh, shiny Pokemon or something while I'm at work tomorrow. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. My uncle, he's the one that talked me into getting one. And he's got one, and he's like, look at all these shiny Pokemon I caught using this thing. He's like, I just drive around downtown for a little bit, and then I have just bundles and bundles of Pokeballs and shiny Pokemon. And I'm like, uh, I gotta get on that level, man. last quest on. Let's see if we have an apple. We got tiny apples. Here's a regular apple. Go ahead and eat that. Uh, looks like Raph grabbed that item that was way over there. So now we can just head to the stairs. Alright, here's our last quest. Done and out the way. Uh, I think that was the last one here, right? Those two? Yeah. Alright, Trappage wants to join us. What will we name him? Because he's definitely joining the team. Um. Let's see. What is Flygon's name going to be? Because at, at the end of the day, it's going to be a Flygon. We'll name him Aragon, which is one of my favorite, uh, like, dragonish themed books. If you guys haven't read that, I would definitely go read it. It's way better than the movie. Which, don't get me wrong, the, the, like, the movie was okay too, but uh, the, the book was definitely better. Um, we're not going to have time to run the dojo tickets, so we will definitely run those in the next episode. That's how we're going to go ahead and start that one there off. 
but if you guys are enjoying this series as of right now, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will definitely see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.